Do you know that 50 to 80% of our behavior is a result of automated habits every single day? Now this can be a scary thing when you stop to realize that our behavior is what shapes our life, it shapes our health, it shapes our relationships, it shapes who we are as people. So at Price Health, we're obsessed with improving people's lives through health and fitness, and part of that is to help people create long-lasting change. So today we're gonna to teach you the three things that you need for long-lasting change or be changing behavior. So if we can change your behavior, we can change your life. So the three things are, the first one being an epiphany. Now epiphanies, kinda hard to come by. I don't know about you, I don't have one every single day. Most of the time when you have an epiphany, it's either at a all-time emotional high or an all-time emotional low at rock bottom. So it can be a painful process and that pain is often what drives that long-lasting behavior. Now it's not something you wanna do on a regular basis, but it can be effective. Now the second thing would be changing your environment. So what are all habits are cues? So what are the cues that are creating your habits throughout? So when you walk into the kitchen and there's a bowl of candy on the, table, that's probably cueing you to grab a couple pieces of candy. Now the easy part if it comes to say losing weight and changing your environment is not having food in the house. If you're somebody who's a smoker, it's always hanging out with smokers, that's going to be very difficult to quit smoking. Uh, if you're somebody who just sits on the couch and watches TV all day, simply unplugging your TV would be changing your environment to not watch TV as easily and maybe get up and go for a walk. So changing your environment can be a very, very effective way to create that long lasting change. Now the third thing is what we specialize in is helping you take those baby steps. Change happens not overnight, it takes time, right? So taking those baby steps every single day when setting a goal that you can achieve, whether it's walking 10,000 steps, whether it's not eating sugar for a whole week, when you're setting these goals and taking these baby steps, don't think of them as permanent things. Set that goal to try and take that baby step for 30 days in a row. Once you hit that 30 days, try and do it for another 30 days, right? When we're creating habits, we need to take baby steps, we need to change our environment or have a painful epiphany. Either way, set up rewards for yourself. Get very clear on what you wanna do and why. If you want help with any of this, we can help to improve your life. We specialize in helping you get out of pain, making you feel better, giving you more energy. The Fit Club is open. If you want to get in there for a workout, get moving. I promise you're gonna feel absolutely amazing. We're running a 21 day transformation challenge right now. If you're a Price Health member, uh, you already get a special discount, so you can sign up at the link below and we'd love to help you out but if you're trying to create change use any three of these combos all right have a good weekend